In today's watercolor tutorial, we will paint this loose, warm, imaginary landscapes. Hi friends, I am Vanidas Mangathil and let us learn watercolors together. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification. I will be explaining the entire process uh, of uh, the painting this particular scene and I will be releasing uh, more and more tutorials every week. Without further ado, let us begin the tutorial. I am using a quarter sheet of uh, cold pressed watercolor paper, 300 GSM. And for the colors, I am using 24 color Bristro watercolor pan set. Okay. I am wetting the paper. I haven't made any drawing. I am wetting the paper throughout and then we will apply some uh, wet on wet washes to begin with. I am using a, a mop brush, Raphael a number 6 mop brush and I am, use, I am starting with a very warm color around the horizon area. So the idea is uh, start with very warm, strong warm colors at the horizon and then as we go up and down we will make it more and more reddish and purplish. Okay, That is the overall idea. So that we get a kind of a, a strong sunset or strong evening kind of an atmosphere. Okay. Adding more red and as we go up, uh, let us add little bit more purple color. So that is, a, that is the idea. And since the paper is wet, it will all merge. I am keeping the paper at an angle of uh, around 35 degree okay so that whenever we apply the wash the pigment will have a tendency to fall down okay the paper is almost filled with the initial wash and we have to suggest some strong clouds uh, on top of it wet on wet clouds okay that is the idea as of now i haven't at the time of painting as at this point i don't have actually in much idea of what i am going to do now we know because in the at the beginning i have shown the finished work but otherwise when i was painting i didn't have any idea of what i am going to paint the idea was just start with the washes and depending upon how the washes come out, I will add something to, to make it, I mean, to finish it. That was the kind of approach. See, that way, what we gain is, we learn to take uh, dynamic decisions, we develop our imagination, and we also become more and more bold in our brushworks. So, I would suggest you practice this kind of approach start without much of ideas play with the wet on wet sky and something and then depending upon how it comes take further actions now i am suggesting uh, wet on wet clouds with the darker pigments okay and uh, since the paper is still wet i mean damp at least so it it will spread the the brushworks for the clouds will spread a bit and it will create some, I mean, I mean, reasonably suggesting suggestive uh, clouds. Just splashing some uh, colors. Okay. See, the idea is just to be playful. So be playful and uh, let let things happen by itself. Okay. We just create the context. We we kind of guide it little bit and let the actual thing happen by itself. Let a uh, little bit more darker colors okay i'm mixing blue violet and red kind of colors together and uh, i wanted some dark uh, i mean not very watery but dark uh, consistency paint to make some sort of a, some sort of a small hill or something okay and uh, the idea is just to create some big shapes okay 
and its reflections and depending upon how it looks we will take further decision it's dark because uh, because of the atmosphere okay see it is very reddish warm kind of uh, an atmosphere now you will not have bright colors you cannot have bright colors so whatever colors that we add should match with the overall context overall atmosphere right now it looks to me that there are some foreign stuff okay this area which i am doing now some foreign stuff and some nearby kind of a mountain on the right and it is creating some sort of uh, a reflection that is the idea that i am getting now okay i think i think it is reasonably okay the paper is still wet i mean damp it is not very wet but it is damp spreading will still happen some darker darker touches on the ground and some water movement probably okay i'm so so far i have used the two brushes both are mop brush and uh, natural hair mop brush splashing some water droplet protecting the sky with my hand okay and uh, that will create some kind of a texture i just get an idea of uh, just uh, probably trying to lift out some colors from uh, the center i mean slightly off center to create some some sort of light maybe maybe it is the sun there whether it works or not that is a different thing i mean i get the idea and you try it it is fully dry now and we can do uh, further details i have an idea of making a boat a big boat probably usually i make small boats in this kind of scenes a big boat and i'm just uh, making a small outline with pencil since the paper is dry you can draw on top of initial washes uh, with pencil dark color bluish purplish kind of a color and this pushes the horizon further away okay uh, it gives it is a strong tone and uh, see with this kind of a color combination you cannot have uh, uh, i mean totally different colors everything should kind of match okay so i mean the color should feel that they belong to the same family sort of thing okay some dark reflections okay the reflections are sort of a very suggestive mirror reflection in this particular atmosphere we will not get i mean bright colors okay so i am just making very contrast sharp edges around the area where we have some light but rest of the areas i am making the contrast much lesser okay maybe another boat slightly farther away and that also will have some reflection i'm smudging the reflection down with my finger i think reasonably it it already makes some sense i mean it is kind of i'm happy with how it is getting formed and uh, it seems to be convincing as of now to me this is in real time okay so i didn't make it uh, fast forwarded i have only edited out unwanted uh, delays in between the brush works okay some structure on the top of the boat and here i am using lit uh, gray color and little bit of blue color that is available in the set so uh, this color the gray color is little bit opaque but since the background is already dark it, it should be okay if you are finding it interesting and if you are finding some value in my tutorial uh, 
please do subscribe and press the bell notification if you have any any questions or suggestions please do write them into the comment box below i will surely try to find time and uh, get back with answers to your questions and suggestions and uh, if you think this can help your friends artists other art aspirants in your in your group in your family please do share it this is little opaque touches some amount of plain watercolor white is used okay so the idea is to get some kind of uh, mixing of colors okay here i am not particularly interested in the in the drawing part of it of course the overall drawing should get be convincing but it is more sort of suggestion some some make, mixing some darker colors slightly thicker consistency and i'm using a liner brush now okay these are for some suggestive line works i'm using a liner brush or rigger brush okay some sort of uh, vertical elements because uh, that vertical elements will make it even more interesting so these vertical elements connects to the sky and it creates some contrast and overall it will create a little bit more interest in the work okay this doesn't have to be precise it is just uh, i mean sort of suggestions okay all these brush works are very impulsive decisions okay without much of thinking and uh, so yeah, try to practice these things because uh, if you the more we practice these kinds of uh, imaginary works taking dynamic decisions our imagination uh, will get improved that that gets more and more nurtured and you will you will you will feel much confident in uh, in creating imaginary works and this can also help if you are painting from reference painting from life okay because whether you use your imagination or reference photograph or the real life situation for painting you will always have to take some additional uh, decisions okay which is not in the scene you may have to add something which is not in the scene to make it artistically looking better okay so imagination is always required even if you use a reference photograph so it is a good idea to practice painting from imagination so more clarification of uh, the the reflections it doesn't have to be very precise and uh, i would ideally prefer dropping in some colors and letting it kind of loosely mix okay and uh, some smudging with the hand let me know if you have any questions okay if you don't if you are not following it if you have any questions please do let me know Uh, i think the reflection position went slightly off uh, i wouldn't mind too much though but it is a good idea to keep the reflection and the original object in line okay it should be it should uh, i mean be convincing okay yeah i think that much is sufficient for the the big shape for the reflection see everything you should take as a shape particularly when it comes to the big shapes uh, i'm not talking about the line works but the big shapes take them as more like a, the, the as a shape than the actual object and the overall shape their placement the perspective of the shape they should be convincing 
final details if something goes here and there it doesn't matter the overall illusion is created by big shapes and their perspectives so you cannot get away with uh, perspectives you have to you have to practice perspective and drawing and drawing is the key okay so to improve your drawing please do sketch a lot and uh, practice a lot see here i didn't make much of a pencil drawing at all but whatever brush works that i am doing now it is one way of drawing okay it is actually drawing drawing with a brush so the 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 key is practice drawing right some some kind of uh, i mean highlights okay see these highlights will uh, add more interest to the work and uh, it will also give some kind of a, some kind of light is hitting all these elements and it will make it more interesting some more play of light it will create so it will create the sense of some strong light just keep observing what is happening and uh, keep uh, making your touches but don't do don't overdo this highlights okay highlight should be done in a very limited way and some of these touches that i am making could be some lights some sort of lights uh, seen within the boat okay and all this has a little bit of uh, i mean reflection keep evaluating okay don't overdo it please don't overdo it very easy to get i mean overdone some sort of reflection for those uh, tiny suggestions for light okay that will make it interesting little bit of uh, contrast not heavy contrast little bit of contrast as i told this um, you can keep imagining since it is kind of uh, without any reference see when we say it is im from imagination uh, it may not be totally 100% genuine imagination this could uh, some of the things that you already have seen in the past and uh, some of the things that you have seen in the past and uh, some of the things you might have drawn in the past all those things will keep coming back okay so th th those things may get reflected and it is not everything is 100% i mean uh, new totally new no it is uh, all those i mean things that you have practiced and learned all those things will come back when you do the imagination okay see when you are writing a poem Uh, you don't use imaginary words the words are all all known to us it is from our vocabulary similarly these elements are from our vocabulary we already know them but we are placing in kind of a kind of a new way new uh, new way of arranging the things okay i here adding some figures um, again very 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 suggestive i think i would i would treat that it is uh, very close to i mean calling it as done i wouldn't do too much of uh, too much of details anymore and i will soon i will plan to sign it and then uh, declare it as done because i am little bit afraid of uh, overdoing overdoing is something that we most of us do little bit of highlights and uh, then i think we can treat it as uh, done okay
right so anything more if you if you are following along i mean then you can decide you can keep adding your imaginary elements and you can do it in your own way let us sign it and declare it as done so thank you very much for staying with me and watching this tutorial i feel i assume that it was informative to you it was helpful to you and if it is so please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification please write your feedback your questions in the comment box below and please do share it to your friends who might benefit from this video it takes a lot of time and lot of effort in in recording the video editing it out and i mean uh, giving the voice over and all those steps so please do share it to your friends so thank you very much and uh, we will soon see you with another interesting tutorial and uh, happy painting until then bye bye